to Kedailim Mamish as Rashi Kailo, my did, and Chava Bezdin, Rav Shalom Baruch, Shalom Baruch, and Shuchat, who is a Gewaldiger, Adam Gadol, and Kvayd, Rav Hamnik. And you should realize that these these uh, two Anashim Gedailim know a world and they have Shemush and uh, you, if you makabel from them and you mishamish them and learn from them so you also will go in the same Mahalachas as they're doing. Okay, so I don't know if all you know me from the previous years uh, I was away for various things but uh, Mr. Sham, I, I hope to be back. <laughs> the topic is a very interesting topic. Almost nobody gives share, not, not anybody that I know. It's, it's in Hilchas Nadar, and it's in, you'll find it in Yeridea Chelik Beis. And it happens to be, uh, no, Chelik Gimel, I'm sorry. It's in Chelik Gimel. And it happens to be uh, very complicated and especially very, very long. It, you would be surprised of all the, the halachas in Shulchan Aruch, it, it doesn't go so long as the Hilchas Nedarim and the Hilchas Shavuos. And it could take quite a while to, to finish it. Like they used to say the Melitza, you know, how long did it take smicha in your day, uh, you know, that you learn to get smicha in Chelek so I had a Rebbe, a cute sense of humor, he used to say, you know how long it takes? A yar and a day. So it, it, took a, it took quite a while. <laughs> Actually, it was closer to two years because you, you learned the baby, uh, some learned the, the Gemara, the, the, the Shulchan Aruch. Okay, so these Hadaras and Aram, they come up very much. Everybody here is gonna be a dying. Uh, one way or another, and uh, so you have to know Hilchus uh, Nadarim pretty well. And I'm going to give you the sides uh, of what you have to uh, have to know with a, a shtickle beer. Okay, now the minig in Kalal Yisrael. It's very interesting to note that we do Hataras Nadarim in two of the Helix the tag from from Yom. In the Yom Nairam, which, uh, uh, if you didn't know, when does Yom Nairam start? So Yom Nairam starts from the first day of Slichas, as I state in the Paiske. Yom Nairam is the first day of Slichas, and Rosh Hashanah is a Yom Adin. The Ramban, Alatar, says the first day is a, a Yom Hadin, in, uh, with, which is tempered as a Yom HaChesed, and Yom Kippur is a Yom HaChesed, which is tempered with Din. And uh, so we all know that uh, in order to daven, unfortunately in Shemayim, there are, uh, unfortunately for us obviously, that, that there are Makatrikim, especially we're, we're talking to a Chashev Oilam who knows Hasidus, and uh, Abyssal Kabbalah. And, and we know because of the things we say a whole year, uh, we say chas v'shalom uh, by mistake, and we say uh, and hara, and we, we mavayish people. So there are many of various one does with the, the mouth. It's, it's interesting to note, I go a lot on the side, Kedar HaGemara, but eventually we get back to the thing, but all the things that were on the side, they're very fascinating and, and it's good to know. And since this is the Dar HaGemara, it can't be something bad. So, the, uh, it's interesting to note that the, an Arab Rosh Hashanah and Erev Yom Kippurim were Mateneda. Neda. So why is this? You know, with Mate Neda, the introduction to the most holiest day of the year, Yom Neirayim, both days have an introduction 
of uh, of Hilchas of Nedarim, Ataras Nedarim. So why is that? And and Kol Nidre, the Ganze Welt. We're not talking about the the Hasidim and the Bnei Yeshivas and all the Chashev Yidden that they come to Yom Kippur and we start with Yom Kippur, which I'm going to explain is a Dava. Dava Chashemiyad, and if I get a chance, I'm going to say B'Shem Agadol. It's a Dava Omek Miyad, and very beautiful. But in the Welt, even people that are, are not religious at all, and Rahman and San, they're very assimilated. Everybody runs to Kol Nidre. They don't even know what Kol Nidre is. And, and they might not even come to shul the next day. But Kol Nidre, everybody has to come to Kol Nidre. So I'm going to explain whether they realize this or not. And I'm sure 99.99%, if not more, doesn't realize what the oymik of Kol Nidre is. And uh, so we see that Kol Nidre, a father would get so angry at his son, even if he's off the there. He didn't come to call Nidre. So we're going to understand that uh, very soon. Okay. Now, if you look in the, the Chai Odom, Klal Kaflam Ches, I'm not going to say the Pratis, the Sifim, because uh, it'll, it's hard to remember. Halavai, we should remember the regular Simon and Shochan or the regular Klal and the Chai Odom. It's, it's, it says a Lashin, that Naigin Lasis Hataris Nidarm Bev Rosh Hashanah Kidei Lihinotel Me Ainish Nidarm. In order to save yourself in the Ainish Nidarm. So, therefore, it's important for every individual, I'm trans, translating the Chayodim, to learn, every Adam, he said, to learn Hilchus Nidarm because there are many Nidarm that we can't be mad to them and people are Nichshul on them. And also, to add, there are many in the Dharm that could be matted, but you didn't come and be matted them when you should have. You, you made it generic. I have so many in the Dharm, Fartam Kirabim Haim, and we'll see that Al Pi it, it, it has to be quantified and uh, understand on what it's talking about, because the Lushan is not a clear Lushan. So, we see basically clearly not so my Nishnadharm. Now, Nishnadharm happens to be a very severe thing because the Gemara Nadharm tells us that somebody who says Nadharm and they don't keep them, and you'd be surprised how easy it is for somebody to have a nether. You won't even realize it's not a nether. And it's Rahman uh, al-Etzlan, it's Gar Mrs. Ishtai, and Isis Bonav Benaisav, and a terrible, terrible Einshim uh, for the family. So, and uh, we're not going to go now why that is. But what was bothering me is what's happened to Einshim Dharm? Well, you know how many various, uh, unfortunately, we do. Avade, uh, Bipnimius, we want to do the Ras and Hashem, the Sasha be Isis Ma'akiv. Well, that, that's the only uh, vera that's chamer. We, we have uh, uh, over 600 mitzvahs, asen, laven, that uh, they're also very chamer. So why don't we do tshuva on those things before the Yom Neirat? So the answer is, I believe, uh, and I, we want to say a little different than the Chayadim, even though the Chayadim is right, but I think there's a, another Pashib shot, and, and later, if we have time, Be'ez HaShem will tell you a beautiful Yafa Ma'ayit shot that tells us the Oymik, that uh, the Oylem will understand, that Tifa shot in the Ein of uh, Hataras Nadarim and Kal Nidri. But Pshutay, Shala Gemara, the reason why Yamata Neda is you have a pair, and this pair will be mispalal a whole day, Father Rabbi Nishlam, and Rosh Hashanah, and, and Yom Kippur, and uh, you're trying to do tshuva, all the Sarasim made tshuva, which actually starts on Rosh Hashanah, even though we don't mention a word about tshuva. The ik is the Yom HaAchtara, as I be the altar of Zod, 
in in uh, in, in, in all the Chabad Kehillis, uh, it's the Yaim Hach Hach Torah from the Rebbeinu Shalom. It's the Yaim that we the coronation of Hashem, and that's the Iker, and therefore. Uh, many G'dayli Oilam by the Litvisha, and you'll tell me if I'm, uh, it's not true by the Hasidim, if anything, Chabad has a different minig, you let me know. But I assume it's the same minig, is that, you know, the question is, do you have to be happy, or do you have to be sad? What is it by, when, you, when you're making Tkir Shaifa, you know, when a, a king is coronated, they blow shifres and, and trumpets and all these wonderful things because it's the coronation of the king and you have to be besimcha. And, and, and the, the shittas of the goin and uh, his talmidim were to be besimcha dafka. And Ba'am is the Pasik uh, in Ezra tells us that uh, and uh, and you have to be besimcha ki bechedvas Hashem imuuzcha. The simcha Hashem gives us the strength, in other words, to be mezgarba and the yamidin. So it's clear that tkiya shreve is an in of simcha, not that a person should cry. But, but uh, we'll see that those that cry, there, there is an union in that. But generally speaking, the guy in hell, Bishasta Haktar. I, I assume when uh, Rabbi Yashib Salavechik, the Boston Arab, he used to say, oh, but he learned in, in the Chabad Chadarim. So his Rabbi always used to say, and he called him his Rabbi Mova, he learned uh, his Darach from him that uh, he used to say that the Yom Torah, the coronation, uh, used to be mamish like they would do in the coronation of a king. So uh, am I correct in assuming that Lubavitch doesn't cry Bishas Tchir Yeah, no. Well, yeah? yeah. It's not uh, It's not, uh, uh, it's not uh, okay, it's not Sosan, but uh, Simcha is, yeah, yeah that, that, that's not a steer, right? Okay, because I don't know all the men in Chabad, but why? Gilu Berada. Gilu Berada. Gilu Berada. Okay, so it could be it's a little bit different than the Shittas of the guy, but uh, but there were people that cried, and that's actually a shir in itself. Uh, the different men Hagim and Klaisel, Bishas Bishas Tki Shaiva, but. Uh, Pashtas, it's Gila Berada. In other words, Bipnimi, how do you have Gila and Rada? It says to each other, the Chazal already asked the question. And the answer is, Mi Bachutz, you have to show Gabaldig a Simcha, because you're coronating the Melech. It's the day he created the world, which means actually other Marishan, not the Bri itself. And it's a, it's a Yaim Simcha, and you have to be happy. And uh, but inside, you have to be tzibrachen, and you have to uh, be Isaac b'tshuva. So, so the reason why it doesn't, even though there's, as, as the Rashkail mentioned, that even though there's a gila barada, it's fascinating to note that the Iki Yaim is malchi, is achrayinus and shavis, and there isn't a mention about tshuva. So obviously that's not the Ikra Yaim. Of course he's a true insight. But there's no Al Khaz, there's no Ashamnu. It's this is a very big insight in the Yantiv. It's it's a Yaim we're happy with the Melech Tahak Torah, the Yaim Makarnation from the Rabbani Shalai. So so now you know how you're supposed to act when they blow the shaifa and uh, if somebody cries, you don't have to be them, prakert. If that's his thing, you don't have to bother him. But for yourself, you should know what the, what the ik is. Now, we were mentioning, getting back to the Elchus Nadarim, that we want to be nitzo mi einish Nadarim. So I 
Lulei Dvar Vagdashim, if it weren't for the Chai Adam saying this, so the, I would say that since we use the mouth as a spring lure for so many things that's improper, there's so many makatrigim and so many malachim that are mastinim and they don't let our trillers go up, so therefore we have to do something to be makadish our pair that the trillers should be niskabal. So because the, otherwise the malachim are makadim, he said, why, why are you listening to, to this yid? Oh, look at it, what he does the whole year. And in a second, everything is, is up there. And, uh, and they say, his thrillers, you can accept them. Shani, I'm kibber. So therefore, it's a hechrech to be mat in a dharm. And if you'll notice, in all hataras in a dharm, and Mitz Hashem will explain this either today or another time, next week maybe, because it's for culinary also, that, that it's matir all the avoidance that a person has prepare and in other things. And that's why everything always ends with a slicha. Like after Kal Nidre, he say, And then you, so it's a nislach. It's interesting, after Kol Nidre, you say that we have to be Soleach Klal Yisrael. And what's amazing is, if you look in the Nusach for Adaras Nadarim, it also says, after Adaras Nadarim, he said, Hakal ye mechulam lach, hachi ye sluchal lach, hachi parla, he zain kan like nether, like shua. And so you always paskinize the business, paskin, bezin shalmaila, and therefore the bezin shalmaila, is paskinized slicha mechila kapara. So, so it's not only, you know, some learn, it's only going on the oven the dharm. But we'll see in the Kadmainim, it's mashma, it's going on all of ours. And that's how Gedaile uh, Rosh Hashivas understand it as well. And the Mikrai Kaidish also understands it as well. That's Rav Pesach Frank, the Baal Shadz Hatshuvah's Hatsi, which who is the Goyen Abezden of Yerushalayim a couple dollars back. Uh, I, I just wanted to tell you a secret. Uh, I, I don't usually like giving out the secret, but you're not in my shul, so it won't affect me. This is a fascinating thing, and you should try to be mishtal to do this. Should you be, you know, everybody's there, you have four, usually you have four to the table, unless uh, we'll see that you can have, uh, you can be mata neder to a few people at a time, but the meaning is to do one at a time, but vishasat chak, you can do many people at a time. Even the Shulchan Aruch says, zug, zug. Uh, and, and the Mati Ephraim also says, you can do it a couple of people at a time. Not many people don't know that. But, but L'Chathchila, the meaning is, it's just one at a time. You know, you go before the best. But if there's a rush, davening is late, there's a lot to do, you can have many people at a time. It's mashma from the altar ever, that he says a lotion of uh, a, 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 an Ada. An Ada, as we know, is, 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 is Asar B'nai Odom. Asar B'nai Odom. And he says it's, it's preferred to have an Ada. So, so therefore we see, it's Sai talking about Dayanim, and I believe he's talking also about the people that come to be Matanet. So, Eida uh, Eida, we learn out that uh, you need a minion for a Dabash of Gdusha. So, okay, so we, we have the side, and uh, uh, I don't know if you're familiar, but it could be, you are. There's a Sefer called the Sefer Charedim. The Sefer Charedim was written by a person who is whole, his whole life, he was taught he was an Amaretz. Amar's der Aisa, Amar's der Abonin. He was a shamish in the in the Beis Haknesses of Rabbi Yosef Kara, and he used to sweep the floors. Everybody thought he was the pashtus, the pashti. He wasn't a, 
uh, alarm them by any stretch of their imagination. That's what they thought. Now, the, the, in, you go to Svas in the shul of Rabbi Yosef Cairo, it was a who's who. That shul was a who's who of, of the greatest people in the Dar. Rabbi Yosef Cairo, he was the Rav. The Makubal was none other than the Heiliga Arizal. I'm sure his Talmud, Rabbi Chaim Vital, who wrote Kisvi Ari, he was there too. Who was the great Darshan? None other than Rabbi Moshe Alshech. He was the Darshan. And everybody had a job. Now, the Baal Charedim, for most of his life, he was a Nista. And like I said, everybody thought he was a Pashti Yid. But if there was Nizgala through a Maisa on Lag Boima, which I'm not going to go into now, it's really not part of the topic, it was Nizgala that the Baal Sefer Charedim uh, that the Rebbe Loza Askari, that was his name, Agoin, Atzadik, Akadish, Rebbe Loza Askari, Schusi Yogen Aleinu, that not only was he a Talmud Chacham in Bavli, in Shulchan Aruch, he was a Baki in Gansi Yerushalmi, and the Emes in Kala Tarekula. There's a parish that in many Yerushalmi it's printed on the daf, and others it's in the back of the Yerushalmi, that this Amorites, the Reis and the Rabbanon, wrote a Pirish Charedim on Gansi Yashami. So he, he wasn't a slouch by any uh, stretch of the imagination. And not only that, he wrote a Sefer on Mitzvahs, which is very unique. It's Kedai to learn it, because it, it gives you Yerushalayim too. It's one of the Sefer on Mitzvahs that gives you grace Yerushalayim, besides telling you all the Mitzvahs. You know how the Charedim is set up? Very, very original that the mitzvahs are based on the different avarim and the organs of a person's body. So he has all the mitzvahs that are shaykh to the eyes, and all the mitzvahs that are shaykh to the ears, and all the mitzvahs that are shaykh to the nose, and all the mitzvahs that are shaykh to the mouth, and azay vaita. And he makes up, he makes up, the, you know, we have a Kabbalah at the end of the Marcus that there's 613 mitzvahs, and he manages uh, to have that based on this uniqueness of the mitzvah shaykh today, Varm. Of course, he comes out that there are many more mitzvahs than we have, but uh, since we have to have taryag, that's a kabbalah misinai, pashtus, so he has to subtract many mitzvahs. But, but he's also myself very fascinating mitzvahs, which are very, very important. So that was the charede. So, uh, so you have to realize that a person during this man, he has to be mekadosh evarim, at, at least during a Sarasi made shula, and uh, and it starts on Rosh Hashanah. So it, it's very important to um, to go through these in yanim. And uh, it's a good idea not only to go through the, I, I'm not talking about Hasidus, we're talking besides Hasidus, to look through the Sefer Haredim, it gives you grace, Yerushalayim, and we're talking about a Tzadik Nista wrote it. And, and uh, it shows you how a person could be poigim, his avarim and his uh, organs, you know, uh, if they don't, they're not careful. So, uh, so basically, what I, the reason why I brought this down is the Charedim brings many mitzvahs ashayach to the pair. So, don't you want your twillers to go up straight to the Kisya Agavid without any Kitrugim? Of course, we all want that. So, it's not so posh. It. So, therefore, we're mat in the dorm. That's what I believe. Luli divrei achai adam. So our pair should be kaddish, and therefore you'll see in the machzor. It says uh, if anybody has a machzor, uh, it'll be uh, what? But if you don't have a machzor, uh, it's fine. On Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, and you'll see they all end off with slicha mechila kapar. So now I'm going to tell you a side that's very important. Uh, thank you so much. I guess you should call Martha Sean Wow, has everything. So, uh, so.
So it's Arab Rosh Hashanah. And uh, look, at, look at the Lashon. It's, it's a really fascinating Lashon. Here. You start off Shimon the Rabbi Dayan and Mumchen. Even though we're not all Mumchen, there has to be at least one Mumchen in the Shul that you can say over the nether if you remember it and see if he can be martyred. And we'll see how he does that. You have to have two causes of Heta, which we'll explain. And then he can go back to the Bezdin and say, the Rav said, you can be Mati and or if not, he can be Mati and and forget about that Taras Nadar for that. So, uh, but they go over, and now he only, the person only has to tell one person. You don't have to say all the three, Dayana Mumchen, so to speak, that uh, I did this over, I did that, and I, and I made a Nether for this. You don't have to be Mavayish yourself, Baradim. You can tell one Dain who knows the Allah is very well. It's usually the Rav, but not necessarily. It could be a, a Talmud Chacham. And, and he, he works, but he's a Talmud Chacham. So he tells only one person that knows these Allah is very well. And he finds a Heta. And then you can go back that the Rav was Matya, and then you can say mutalach, mutalach, mutalach. So in this, in this, you should look through the Shemina Rabbi site to see exactly what you're doing. I'm going to bring out a few things. But look, it's so fascinating that it, you're not only hakoyer mutarim lach. That's normal. You know, even before I get, those of you that went to the Bezin by us with uh, Rav Shalom Be'er, you you always are matanada before you give, uh, they give a get. Now why is that? Because people in the in midst of their great anger, they make shruas usually. And they said, I'm never gonna give you a get. I swear, I'm not supposed to say I swear, it's a shruah, dear I I swear or I promise, which is also a shruah, right, that I will never give you a get. Or sometimes, for whatever reason, they say just the opposite. I swear I'm going to give you a get. You know, if that angers her, so he does that way. So we have to, the first thing you ask before you do anything by like get is you say that I'm giving this get out of my own free will and accord without compulsion. And, and so you're not allowed to be forced, not the woman and not the man. So. So how do we do that? So he says that uh, I, I'm giving it without. Now he might have made a nether. And what does the nether do? The lump, this is fascinating. He says, you are being forced by your own words. My words that I made a shrua, I'm not gonna give the get. So you are forced by your words not to give the get. And we don't want that. Or if he said, I swear I'm gonna give you a get. So you're not giving the get out of your own free will. You're giving it because your shvur is of you to give the get. So we don't want that either. And therefore, the minig bechol trutzis Yisrael, and for dare daris, that the first thing you ask the person is, are you willing to give the get out of your own free will? And then we ask them if they ever made a shvur, or the darm, but we don't trust the answer anyway. And, and then we say, we're mat, we're mat and, and the hataras nedarm is they shouldn't be forced by their own words. And it's fascinating that what do you say after this hataras nedarm? You say, mutalach, mutalach, mutalach. So you say six words, that's all. The three but Bezdin, the three Dayan and the Bezdin just say mutalach, mutalach, mutalach. Look at this. We're more Muhammad than a get over here. 
It not only says Haki and Mutar in Lach, that's the Mutar Lach, Mutar. Hakal Machul in Lach, Hakal Shru in Lach, Enkan Lai Nedda Vilay Shru, Vilay Isi, Vilay Skarma, Vilay Kabbalah, Vilay. Aval Yeshkan, what? Mechila, Uslicha, Vichapora. And just like the Mat in Bezden Shabbat, so the the Noig Bezden Shabbat. Why are, we, why are we giving a bracha, a slich or mechila? And, and you look by Kol Nidre, by Yom Kippurim, it's the exact same thing in different words. It brings a posik, but it is the exact same thing. It's a fascinating zach. So, I, uh, uh, and, and that's what I mentioned, I really mentioned it before, that in the Kol Nidre, if the, the Kol Nidre, which is Hataris Nadarm, and we try to be Mahmes Hataris Nadarm on the Ava, and we try to make the Nusach, then it's also in the future. And if the, he does that, every, the whole cow sings together, Venis Lach, the Chol Adas Bnei Yisrael, and uh, I don't remember, another two words in the Pasik, Ki Bechol Am Bishkaga. So again, what's, what's Vinislach, right? You, you're giving Vinislach. And it goes on also, other Lashonis in it. Because you're not only being Mataneda, you're giving him a Slicha, a Mechila Kapara, on all, on all his uh, Averis. And that's how, this is a Chiddush, and that's how Reb Tzvi Pesach Frank, the guy now Bezni Yerushalayim, in the Mikroi Kaidish, which is, he has on all the Yom Tovim, beautiful Sefer, with many Kurochem, all the Yom Tovim. And, uh, and uh, each Yom Tov, some of them have three Chalokim, like Pesach and Sukkot. So it, it's Kerai to look. And he says a Chiddush Niflo. Now, I saw the Talmud Mubik of Shumul Kamenetsky, he writes that it's not it's, it's not a slich of mechil kapara on all the various. That's what he says. It's only a slich of mechil kapara on the einish nadarim. So Reb Shmuel is not going to hold of our shtikel Torah. The only thing is Reb Tzvi Pesach Frank argues on him. And if you look at the lashon, it's mashma that it's going on everything. Not only in the nadarim, it's a stam kloli zdik of mechil on all the various. So look what's happening. When you go to Kol Nidre, we understand now. They don't even understand that the fry Yidin and the assimilated Yidin. But they're coming to Kol Nidre to get a slicha, mechila, ve kapara. So mini Yisrael, tairi. They are, it's not for, for naught that they're going for Kol Nidre. Kol Nidre is a grace of And I'm going to tell you a chiddish. Besides the Mikrei Kaidish, then he only says that, he says that it's not like, he, he didn't see Reb Shmuel, and Reb Shmuel didn't see the Mikrei Kaidish, but his Talmud asked him the question because of the Mikrei Kaidish. But Reb Shmuel says, no, it's only on the Dharm. But he didn't want to tell his Rebbe, his Rashiva, that it's going on everything, Pashtis. So, okay, so we have a Mach like this. But you know who else? said it's going on everything, none other than Rabbi Yashir Be'er Salavechik, who's the Boston Arav, and, uh, and Gdoilim said, or rather that he knew how to learn, he knew halacha. I know he's controversial, but uh, halacha, you can, you can learn from him as long as you can rely on the person giving over the psak and preferring him. Do you hear it from him? Because he answered differently to different people. And that's really the Darach of a Paisik. As, as Rav Gustman, who used to be a Rosh Kail in, in, in Lubavitch, a Rosh Shiva in Lubavitch. So he used to say, Koidim paskidmin of the Gavre, and Nochdem of the Chefze. So first the Rav has to shut up who the person in front of him is. What, he, he can't give the same psak to a guy that's a millionaire, to a guy that's poor, to a guy that's super firm, to a guy that's commod assimilated. You have to paskin on the Gavra, and now you can paskin on the Shiloh there. There maybe is a head for them. And that's why they said the Rabbi Moshe 
Feinstein, Zechat Tzalik, Bikadosh Lebracha, and my Rebbe, my Rebbe, again, Reb Moshe Bik, who Reb Moshe Feinstein said that he was the Brooklyn Arab. He held he was the biggest Arab in Brooklyn in a time where there were Grace Rabbanim. I'm not going to mention their names now, but Grace Rabbanim, and Reb Moshe held, Reb Moshe Feinstein held, Reb Moshe Bik was the biggest. So I learned by him eight and a half years, a couple times a week he used to go for an hour, two hours to be Mishamashim, and every Sunday he gave a shir in, in Shulchanar, not Mishnabru, in Shulchanar. They both said the Paisek Achen is the Archa Shulchan, not the Mishnabru. Because not only was the Archa Shulchan after him, but the Archa Shulchan, he, he was a Rav in Shtad, he passed him practically on people. You know, when, when you have the Paskin practically on people, sometimes you have to go out of your way to see uh, with Rachmanis, you know, who is this person? Maybe we can have a cool of him. But the Mishnah Brewer, with all his greatness, and I'm not Mamai the Mishnah Brewer, but this is what they said, is that he, he was writing, you know, according to the Halach, and not because there was a in front of him and asking a Shiloh. He went through all the Shittas, and he was, he was machriya according to what he saw. So it was strictly uh, an educational psaq, of course it was siyat edishmai from the Rabbani Shalom, but he didn't deal, he wasn't a rav, official rav. As a matter of fact, he wasn't even an official Rosh Hashiva. He was officially a, a supermarket. He, he and his wife ran a supermarket and they used to give out fish and, 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 and flour and things like that. We, and, and that's how he was supported. But the Chavetz Chaim, Mitoich is great and nevis, of course he could have been, the, he, he was one of the greatest Paiske Adar, but he didn't want to be because, uh, because of his uh, anivis about it. So you understand now why uh, that we Paskin at least according to Rabbi Moshe, and the Rebbe held very greatly of Rabbi Moshe, as you all know. There's Chuvis, the Rebbe, the Shilas, the Rebbe asked Rabbi Moshe, and Rabbi Moshe answered those things that the Rebbe didn't want to paskin on, many things in Halacha he didn't want to paskin on. So who did he ask? Rabbi Moshe. And, uh, and uh, it's, it's interesting that uh, Rabbi Moshe had filmed the Rabbeinu Tam and uh, Rabbi Rab Z- 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 Zirkin, what's your first name? Tzema. What? Tzema. Tzema. The Tzema Z- uh, Zirkin's grandfather, I also learned by Shechita and Trefus. And, and he told me himself that Rabbi Moshe in the war, he lost his film, the Rabbeinu Tam, so he wanted it to have it again. And he asked the Rebbe, you know, who should he go to? And he mentioned the Zayd of Reb Tzavach, Reb Eliezer Zirkin, and he wrote his parashas, Rabbeinu Tam. So we, we see that... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't want to say the whole mindset. It's a little comp- more complicated than that. But it was, it was very interesting. I heard what Moshe said himself. I, I heard it with my own ears. So... Um, Okay, so, so as I mentioned, the, this, that it's a, uh, it's, it's a machoikis of how uh, you understand the slicha mechila. And I just want to say that this comes up in Afghamina Ladina, is that you have three Diana, right? And then the person who's matanev, they comes before the Diana. So these three Dayanim, they preferably should be zakoyim. They should be tzaddikim, el So, how do you do that? You know, when you go through the prop, uh, process of ataras nedarim, if you hold it's a slicha mechila kapara on all of theirs, so each one is a zakai. So, who should be the first, you would think, uh, that uh, should get this slicha mechila? Not the chashras of the, of, the, of the four that are there, not the rav. I never take the first time, even though, of course, they all are very nervous. Avada, the rav, goes, goes first. I never go first. 
And the reason why is based on the Tzvi Pesach Frank and Mikrei Kaidish, because the Gemara always says, Yava Isake, by Kabbalah, it says, Yava Isake, Zakai, the Tzadik, V'yichap al So I'm not a, I'm not a, za, a Zakai yet. So what, what do I do? I wait to be the last. This is the hard Tzvi, what he says. Let everybody else go first. I'm telling you a secret. You shouldn't be mafrasim because otherwise you won't be able to do it. Everybody will want to do this thing. But he, he says, let everybody go before you. So the first dying, he becomes a zakat. The second dying, when he does the Torah, he becomes a zakat because he learns slicha mechir kapar legamri. And the third person, he's a zakat. Now I get up, the rub. I get up and I have three dayonim, not only mumchem, but zakoyim, and they're machap on me, achayim, and that's wonderful. I couldn't have it better. Because why do I need a chayim to be machap on me? I want a zakai to be machayim. So this is based on the lumdis, the mikrai kaidish, that it's a slicha mechil kapor on everything. But according to uh, Rav Kamenetsky, he says it's only on the Dharam, so when his Talmud asked him, so is there any Indian? He didn't tell him about the Mikrai Kaidish, but of course he's burning it. You know, I guess I'll start a Kharis, he didn't want to say, well, he's saying, oh, but there, there's somebody that argues on the Rosh you know, he, he's very idle to mention. So he said, that, so is there an Indian of Yavi Zaki, Bichap al so he says, there's no zakai here because it's only a slicha mechila kapara on, on the oven and the darm, but it's not everything else. But, so his sheet is, doesn't make a difference, but according to the Mekrei Kaidish, it, it does mechab. And, I'm sorry? If you have a specific nether that you remember, then you have to go to the Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we didn't get so far yet. I, <laughs> it always turns out more, but you're hearing a lot of Allah. Uh, so I, I just want to tell you, it's such a gorgeous shtikal Torah, it's something you can say over on Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, is that Rabbi Yashir Ber, he also learns like the Makrei Kaidish, it's, it's obvious, and he says, Adav He says, what's the Indian? The same questions we asked. And it's Cain what we said, but with a lot more Amkis and Hargeshim. What we're trying to do is make a Bezdin that the Rabbani Shalom should come down and Paskanois Mechila Uslicha Kapora for all the Yidden in the base Madish. We want to do this every Rosh Hashanah, and we want to do this every Yom Kippur, Lel Yom Kippur going into Yom Kippur. We know, and we were going to say this, the Bezdin of Atoros Nedorim is an anomaly. In other words, it's a Yoytzi Daifin. It's an exception to the rule of all Bateidinim. Any Bateidin, the Dayanim are sitting. The Dayanim have to sit, because respect for the Dayanim. In Atoros Nedorim, the Dayanim do not have to sit. And all but the Dinim, the Aedis, or the people that come to speak before the Bezdin and they ask whatever they ask, they have to stand for the cover of the Bezdin. And we tell them, the guy's lazy, he doesn't want to get up, or he doesn't want to respect the Bezdin, we tell him, please get up. And we do. And uh, he, he gets up. But at Taras Nadarim, the one that's not his Nadarim, he can sit down. You know, of course, you know, we do it the way it should be, but Mi'ikra Din is not a bidi habit. It's a, he can sit down if he wants to sit down. You know, especially some people that have the, the legs hurt them. And, and, um, and then there's another difference. But the deal, had azach. Do you think if you had in a basin your brothers, and, and, and your craving first cousins, your uncle, your father, you think you can sit together on a bezin? Of course not. They're psulim. They're psulim. Do you know in Hattar's Nidar in the bezin? Could be psulim. 
there'll be father and son and uncle and this and all, all absolum. So, and another thing, all but dinim das cholos adin has to start by day. Dinoy la boike mishpa, it says in Pasha's mishpatim, which we, we pass in la halach, of course, and you have to start a din tar by day, and even finishing by night is not so posh. It. But it has to start by day, if not, it's possible. Anything they pass in is possible. You know, Hataras Nadarm could be at night. If somebody, many times they had my lady made a nether, and I said, please come to shul, and uh, let me hear what the nether is, and then if I have a head of her, so I, I, I told two. Uh, Yidin from after Marif that they should, you know, please do me a favor and, and the Isha a favor. We sit together three and we're, we're Mata Haneda. So, so you see that it's very different. So, why do we do this Hataras Nadarim, uh, which is the Kol Nid, right? It's a head, a gorgeous one. So he says, the whole idea is not only the Hataras Nadarm as we explained it, but the idea is we make a tachbula. It's like lahabdul, almost like a trick. In Eretz Yisrael they say, this is a trick. You know, whenever yeah, I was walking by in Eretz Yisrael, I heard two Israelis, they were argue, arguing with each other, and one says to the other, zelo fair, zelo fair. You know, it's not fair. You know, so the Eretz Yisrael, you know, they make English into Ivrit. Uh, uh, so, so it's like a trick. And what's the trick? We want the Rabbani Shalom to come down to our bezin. Which is the only bezin that you can do at night? Hatars Nadar. Kal Nidre goes into the beginning of the night of of, Kal, of Yom Kippur. And we make a bezin, and anybody who learned the Ramban in the beginning of Pasha's Mishpatim, it says, Elohim Nita Ba'adas Kel. The Rabbani Shalom comes down, and he sits among the Dayonim, Ba'adas Kel, and he helps them give out a Psak versus Amis. It's not only the Dayonim's knowledge in all these things, and, and, and a, di a dain also has to know din meruba. You know, you have to be able to tell if a person's a liar, he's not a liar, he's, he's tricking you, and there are ways to tell. The Gemara says, and there are swarm speaking about how you can chop a liar. And there are many swarm on these things. So, so but the Rabbani Shalom also helps that uh, he sits ba'ada scale that they should, that they should write. Okay, I'm not answering it, I just want to close it. I just want to close it. Okay. Now, so, what happens? So we, we have the, the shot saying the, the Kol Nidre. We have the two Dayanim on the side, they have the Sefer Torah, that's the minute. you have the same minute, yeah? The two Sefer Torah on the side, those are three Dayanim. And Diana can stand. Diana can stand. And now we have a Besden. And when the Besden is there, so we have a Besden of Heta Nadarim. So the Rabbi Shalom comes down, Elohim Nitza Ba'ada scale. And we say the Hataras Nadarim. And after, finally, we say the Hataras Nadarim before the Besden. So after that, so the Rabbani Shalom is still there. The Rabbani Shalom is still there. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble finding it, but you'll, you'll see yourself. After the Ataras Nidarim, you say, V'nislach lechol adas b'nei Yisrael. Why are you saying it now? Because we have a Bezdin, and the Rabbani Shalom is with us in the Bezdin. And therefore, now you hear the oimik, the beauty, is that the Rabbi Shalom is also saying, I forgive Kolad as Yisrael because everything was b'shoigeg, they didn't realize what they did, they were shaitim, nichnas by Ruach Shtut, and that's why we have a mechil. 
So this is Dive Torah from Rabbi Yashi Be'ar with a shtikel taisus for me because he's, he's makatz in the shtikel. And, uh, and it's ah, Masig Midrash. Now you hear the an, one oimik and what's going on beside the, the drum shooting that we say, this is such a gorgeous pshat that the Rabbani Shalom is being meichlas. So getting back, I, I hope I, I, I finished it, but if not, I'll explain it now, is that you should wait to be the last of the Dayanim, and then you go up, and, you know, and they'll keep telling you, oh, you Durham should go now second. Uh, you know, so say, uh, it's all right, I, I have my chesh You know, you don't have to let out all your secrets. And you'll be the last, and now you have a zakai, three zakoyim, v'yichap alachayim, because they also say, hakoyim alachayim, so they're being Michael you as well. So even though Rabbi Shmuel Kamenetsky, he didn't hold to this, but we have two G'dayle Torah, Rabbi Tzvi Hashik Frank, and Lahavdi, if you want to say Lahavdi, Rabbi Yoshi Ber, the Rabbi of Boston, that, uh, that he also said, he said the same thing. I just want you to know, I just heard of Micey yesterday, I not, not I heard it, I saw it inside, that uh, I love reading Maisis Tzaddik and they, they give you your Shemaim. You know, I get more your Shemaim from Maisis uh, uh, Tzaddik and Hasidis, I personally, even though I didn't uh, grow up in Hasidish Yeshivas, but I always learned Hasidis. And uh, my name is Ali Melech, uh, my Zayda's name is Ali Melech, and his Zayda's name is Ali Melech. I'm ninth gen generation on my father's side from the Rebbe Lamel. So I, l I learned always a lot of Hasidus, especially Reb Tzadik and the other thing. So that gave me Yerushima. It's uplifting. You know, Lahavdul Musa is a shikal, a downer, you know. It makes you tzabrach and crying. <laughs> but Hasidus elevates you. So I, I love learning Hasidus and uh, and also very important, and this Tzadikim already said, and even the Ram says in Pirsha Mishnah, to learn Maisim from Tzadikim, so you see practically how they were Oymid bin Yisrael, and it's a wonderful thing to learn. You buy Maisim Tzadikim, you learn it, and everybody in the family can enjoy it if they understand it. And now everything's in English, so it's, it's and in all languages, so it's a nice thing to do. Okay, so now we, we, we learn one halacha now, but with a lot of uh, branches. I think you wanted to share a story you saw yesterday. What? I think you were being mocked to me, you saw a story yesterday. That you oh, to thank you, thank you. That <laughs> In the Gemara, it's hard to come back. <laughs> you go on the side. Yeah, so I want to tell you, you should never make fun. First, you know, Rabbi Yashi Ber was by a Fabrengo with the rabbi. He came, they were in the same class together in the Sorbonne or in Berlin. Yeah, in Berlin. So uh, they all, it was uh, the, the rabbi, the Heilige Rebbe, and Rabbi Yashi Ber, Rabbi Yitzchak Hutner, <laughs> and many other Gedalim were in the same class. And all these were in Luyam Gedalim. And they were giving uh, lectures in in Tifa in in uh, civil zachen engineering or, or philosophy or whatever it is they were learning, and all of these tzaddikim, uh, of course the Rebbe included, and, they, and all of them had a sefer underneath their their books, and they, they were looking at the sefer, and they were be able to hold cup with the teacher. And they, of course, had the best marks. So, uh, so this is. Uh, it, so I just wanted to say that he was a chashvi yid. He did the same thing as everybody else. He was learning during the lectures. But there was a tzaddik yisoid oilam who was a going otzim in uh, in the yeshiva in Bensonhurst. Uh, uh, you, you remember the yeshiva? Uh, it was a break off from the mirror. There was also. Gedaili Mir in Europe, in, in Shanghai. Uh, what was it? Beis HaTalmud. Yeah. So in Beis HaTalmud, 
He was a yid called Reb Chaim Charkeve. Reb Chaim Charkeve was a goin otzem, a lamdin otzem, a tzaddik yisoyed oilam. And Reb Shurkin, who was one of my rebbeim, so he said over the story, and it, it's in his Harei Kedem, in the Akdama, uh, he brings down all the Torahs of, uh, he learned by Rabbi Yashab, uh, also, Vel. He, he put out at least three big swarm on him, on, mostly on the Yom Tov. And he, he Rabbi uh, Chaim, Karke, or Chaim uh, Kharkeve and him were sitting at the same table, and Rav Shurkin says, Oh, we shtikl tar for Rav Yashibar. And Rav Chaim Kacharkov was mamish, he, he, he loved the shtikl tar. And he tells Rav Shurkin, says, Adoba Choshiv, as the Zalzain Einotzev was heard the Torah from Rav Yashibar, and as all is bringing to the oil of my yeshivas. So Reb Chaim Karkir, this great tzaddik, he heard the shtikl Torah, you know, Torah is not makabal tumah, halo devari ke'esh no mashem. So Reb Chaim Karkir, halo vay, that somebody should be able to hear the Torah of Rabbi Yashiv Ber and bring it to the oil of my yeshiva. So he writes in his Agdama that he hopes he was makayim the words of Reb Tzadik, that he heard the shiyarm of Rabbi Yashiv Ber and he brings it to the oilam with his svarim, harikedem, and he was mekayim, he hopes with this, he's mekayim his word. So I just want to show you that chas v'shalom ever to make letzonis from him or mavayishim like they do in many places, the yid, not only he was a amiyuch v'shen kemayu, he was the son of Reb Moshe Salavechik, who was a tzaddik. Reb Bik used to be so proud yeah, he was a Talmud of Moshe Salavechik. And Rav Moshe Salavechik was the son of Rav Chaim Briske. And Rav Chaim Briske was the son of the Beis HaLevi. And Azai Vaita biz Rav Chaim Velozhin. So, so, you know, never make fun. Because even Rav Aaron and Rav Moshe used to give him cover. Rav Moshe was a relative also. They used to mechaber him. And, uh, and they always wanted to hear Torah from him. So uh, I do, that's why I told you the story of Rabbi Chaim Karkaba, that you shouldn't think that he is a Mandiyama, Rabbi Yashubba. The things they say about them, you can be Malam Tzchus, but of course that's not for now. So now we know it could be a Beznin that's not normal, all the, these anomalies, and uh, you, you're not Saimach on that Tars Nadarim, Lahat in the dorm that you did the Meshach Hashana. Only Bitzar Godel you can be Samech on the dorm of Erev Rosh Hashana, signed by Hatars in the dorm Erev Rosh Hashana, and including Kal Nidre. And it's only Le'in in the dorm that you forgot. And that's why you have to be Daichik. I have so many in the dorm. I can't. Tell you all them ki rabim hey. So it's a lav davka. That word, those words are only referring to things you forgot. So then you can say, oh, there's so many, I forgot them. But if you remember a nether, you are mechuyiv to say it and see if you have a nether. It does not work without that. And the reason why, if you remember, you said it and, and, uh, and you know, everybody knows that they did Hattaris Nadarim, Kal Nidre, and Er Rosh Hashanah. But if now you're saying a nether after that, and you remember what you did by Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, so that means you're, you're denying what you said. Yes, I said it, but now I, I'm going back. I'm being chayzer, and I'm making another nether now. That's why it doesn't help the Ataras Nadarim. Because you remember your Neda, and you know about Ataras Nadarim, and you're still making it. That means you're canceling out what you did in the past. It only helps for the ones you forgot. And therefore, you have to say it privately to one person who's a Tam Chacham, and he knows Hilchas Nadarim, which is usually the Rav, and even not many Rabbanim know these halachas. You have to really put a lot of Koychas into these things. A lot of people ask a Shaila and, and uh, 
The Shaila is, can somebody do Hataras Nadarim for you? So the answer is, in the Rishayim, the Shabbalei Aleke, and many others, and that's how we paskin the Mechaba, that a Shaliach cannot be Mata Nada for you. You, you can't go to Shul, you're not well, you're this or that. You're sending a Shaliach, a Shaliach is not allowed to be matinada for you, it has to be you yourself go before the peasant. That's the halacha. They, you can say svaras, but it's, it's like they say in bris, it's a dry din, finished. You can't have a shliach. The only exception is your wife, because ishtai kigufai. Now you don't always say ishtai kigufai, Anybody who's a uh, Yoidea in, in the Gemaras, you know, not everywhere you say Ishta Begufa, but here is one of the many places you do say Ishta Begufa. So you have to ask your wife, is, did she make another? Did she make a sure? Do you remember something? And she, let's say she says yes. So even if she says no, it's good to be Mater Anad, right? So even if she says no, so you tell her, please appoint me a shliach to be matanada for you. And she does. And then when he's being matanada and you hear, and also for my wife. And also for my wife. What? I can't hear. Oh, so children, it doesn't say in the pie scheme that, first if they're not Roy Lachinich, that's for sure. You have to understand, you know, Everything in Chinuch, everybody thinks it's one age. Six, seven, whatever it is, they, they make up a number. Every mitzvah has a different Chinuch. I heard from Rabbi Moshe Feinstein that Nathil Sidaim, when do you start Nathil Sidaim, like by the bed, is when they're uh, responsible enough that when they wash Nathil Sidaim, they don't make a flood in the whole room. That's what he said. They don't spill over everything. It, 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 he's not right. He doesn't know what uh, you know how to do the mitzvah properly. He makes a flood. How, how you say ktanim the night the lulav? And as they be, they're able to night the lulav without breaking it, without throwing it on the floor, without that. Every mitzvah tzitzis is when he he doesn't. You'll excuse me. He doesn't uh, uh, make on his on his tzitzis. You, that's the chinuch. This is a big yisrael. A lot of people also make this wrong. It's not a cut and dry thing, one age. And first of all, everybody has a different hasaga, as we all know. Some kids are sharp. I saw, even in my show, one kid at five years old, he was able to give a dvar tar in the minion. You know, I had a, a, a buffer minion downstairs with a, with a person who had the minion. And this five-year-old kid, he's a big Balkishan, now he just got married, and, uh, is a Gewaldige cop. And, and he, at five years old, was able to give a share before a whole island. And he looked forward to it every single week. And, but there are other kids, at 15, they, they can't give a share. So, at 16. So, so therefore, it, it, you know, first it, it's totally in the child's you know, mental capacity. And secondly, it's also that uh, he has to understand what the Indian is. So Hataras Nidarim, uh, the Bala Shaila is still here, I think. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, so the answer is somebody can tell. Right, yeah, 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 the Rosh Kail is right, that you can have somebody 12, he's called a Mufla Samuklish, and he understands the thing about it, yeah. And, and, but a child has to really understand what Nidharm is about, what it means a promise, what it means you have to keep it, what it means you have to say what exactly you did that was a nether, which I didn't explain even. I'll, I'll tell you a Dovin Nifla. I'll tell you a Nifla. It's also people don't know. I'm telling you Chedushim, even Rabbanim don't know. I'm telling you, a lot of Chedushim. Uh, because a lot of Rabbanim called me up, so I know what Rabbanim, where the matzah is. Believe me, a lot of, I'll, I, Okay, I don't want to say it, to be a bald guy, but okay. 
So in any case, they call up and, and they, they say that, uh, you know, I, uh, they, they ask me questions about a uh, certain thing, and I don't know if this is a shru or an edda. So I swear hakal moedim is a, a neda de araisa, or a shru de araisa. You know the difference between a neda and a shru is a neda is an isa and a shru is a isa gavra, that you say, I, I swear, I, I don't want to eat this. And a neda is you make an isa on the thing itself. I mean, that's a biggie side in, in Hilch's Nadar. But, but the child, he has to understand what he did wrong and why you should always, you, you should know this, you should, whatever you say, you should always say, bli another. Bli another. In this way, you're not nitvas bav in the dharm. You should be rogal and constantly say, whatever you're gonna do, bli another. Because even saying a simple thing that I will do this, there are shitas that that's also a net. Okay, so that's not the big chiddish. That's not the big chiddish. So first a child has to understand the whole thing, and then uh, you still can't do it for him. Why? Because it doesn't say cotton kish. He's not, you benai kish. So it only says this had to buy an isha. So ishta kigufai. But the cotton himself comes before the bezin, and he tells them, and as we said before, how it's done. And, and how do you matir a neda? Let me tell you, you know, I'm going ahead because uh, right now we're very early in the Hilchus Nadar, is that the, they, the way you matir a neda, this is very important. If somebody comes with a neda, First, you have to be careful, it shouldn't be a nidre mitzvah, or even a hanhaga taiva. If somebody starts washing until he's dying by his bed, and they do it three times, a hanhaga taiva, three times, is considered like you made a shur, and if you can't do it, it's too difficult, you can be matter than that. Now, how are you matan a dharm? And everything is different. Certain mitzvahs you can, certain mitzvahs you can't. It's, it's too long for it now, especially if you don't have too much time. And, and how are you matan a So the first thing the Rav says to the person, if you would have known that it would be difficult for you to keep this mitzvah, or in this area you would be mavuish to do the mitzvah, which you're never supposed to be mavuish, and, and uh, if you would have known that it would cause difficulty and Shalom buys problems in your family, would you have made the nether? So usually, of course, they say, no, I would never have made the marriage. I don't want life difficult for me. Or, I didn't realize how difficult it would be. That's heta one. But we paskin, like the Gemara and the Mechaba and all the Pisim agree, your Paiseach Bicharata. You have to say another condition. You're saying, if you would have known that you would regret what you said, would you have made it in the first place? And the answer should be, no, if I knew I would have regretted it, I wouldn't have named it in the first place. And then they say, mutalach, in a regular Taras Nadar, mutalach, 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 you're released. And, uh, and, that's, and we do this even by a dove chomo me'oid, like Gerishin, that that's how we matter the nether that he make, or the shru that he made. I swear to give you a get. So we ask him the same exact two questions. And after he says, no, I never would have made it. And then the bezin only says, mutalach, mutalach, mutalach. So you see, it's mashmala hedge that when you add the slicha or mechila and all these things, it's more than just by hatras nadar. It's a it's a kapara on everything. So it's something you can say over. Uh, it's such a gorgeous uh, music, and um, and this you should know. And uh, uh, what what else can I tell you? So. Uh, it, there's a million things, they just have to know which one is first. Uh, you can't, okay, so you have to be yourself 
by, by the Bezdin. You can't send anybody else. And uh, if the person isn't feeling well, so they have to wait till they are able to go in front of uh, a person. Now, if somebody wants to l learn a lot about the Hilchus Nadarm, Hilchus Nadarm is very long. So it'll take you, like I said before, it could be a year and a half. But there's the kids are all the the Yisoides the Keshiles that come up. You all know of the Sefer Mati Afraim from my Heilige Elta Elta Zeda. Mati Afraim was my Zeda. So Afraim Zal Magol, yes, this is a, the, the classic Sefer on Yom Nairoim and Sukkis. And uh, so in it, and the Mishnah Brewer quotes him countless times. The Mati Afraim, Afraim Zal Magol, is the best friend of the Chsam Sefer. They wrote to each other all the time. They were mamish biyadidis, and and anybody who looks in the Chassam Seifa will see that most shuvis in the Chassam Seifa are written to her friends on my gallery. So uh, if you want to see, it's so, oh, oh, thank you. Uh, if you want to see uh, many sites in Mati Afraim, I'm sure everybody has. So in Simon Tuf Kof Pe Aleph Sif Mem Tes, it's very hard to find a Taras Nadarim in the Mati Afraim. I I had to add it in the into the uh, table of content, the intent, because it's hard to it's really very hard to find. So it's in Simon Tuf Kof Pe Aleph by Arab Rosh Hashanah Mem Tes. So there's an Elif Hamogain, one of a Gavaldic appears on the Matya Shrine, that brings all the Yisaitis uh, of, of uh, Hilfus Nadarm. So you can go through it, it doesn't take long, it's short and sweet. And I wanted to tell you what Chiddush that I want to tell you what's considered a Shvua. Believe it or not, if you shake a person's hand, that is a Shavua Chamura. It's not only a Shavua. Shaking somebody in, like it's a business deal. Let's shake hands on it. It's not like, ah, hi, you're a good friend of mine now. That Kiyas Kaf is a Shavua Chamura that the Chuvus Chsam Seifer says that it's more Chamura than a regular Shavua. And, and he says, Chas Vishalom to be over on it and say, well, uh, I didn't check the hand so well, so it doesn't count. Or, uh, I, I didn't really realize what it means, did it? No. Here's kind of that. And I found, if anybody wants to know a more full uh, knowledge of all the haram that Rabbeinu Yashin wrote, it's at the end of Hilchas Lidi Becher, right before Hilchas uh, Avelis, right before Hilchas Geises. You'll find a Bera Goyla at the end of Hilchas Lidin Becher, and he has a whole list which isn't even complete. Nobody knows that Rabbeinu Gershon made 50 Charon, maybe. There's so many. We all know about not reading something. Mail and all these things. But one of the Charonim is shaking a guy's hand and not being the kind of sure. And that's cool. Not only you have an Isidir Isa and it's a Shvur Chamura, and, and the Goyim already said this much before. And uh, Rabbi Yenim Gersh and Marag Melo was like the last from the, from the, he wasn't considered a Goyim, but his mom should Dara after the Goyim. And he was Rashi's Rabbi's Rabbi. So, uh, so he says that he, had, he put a Cherem Rabbi Yenim Gersh on shaking somebody's hand. And you know, uh, the Mati Ephraim, by, you know, by Mechiris Chometz, we make every king impossible because of the, the Churma of the Issa Chometz. Do you know the last thing we do was we make a Tkiyas Kav with the guy. But let's say the guy is a Shiksa, she's a woman, and we don't shake hands with a woman. So my Zayda, and I heard this from Rav Steinbrot, I don't know if you know, he was a Rashid of Bogdanism. Going out soon, he's not alive many, many, many years. Rav Steinbaum also, we were related the same exact way to the Matthias Frank. So he told me 
the Mati Afrahim used to wrap a towel around his hand many times, and that's how he used to shake the woman's hand. So that we should have a tkiyas kafir. We do every king in the world, and, and the Alter Rebbe is even more machma. Yeah, uh, uh, so so uh, so it's good to know that uh, this is what the Mati Afrahim held. So this is my gay business. But if you did such a thing, you have to be Martin Eder and sure. And, and because you are giving your word. In, this, in the business world, this is a, 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 a holy thing by them. That shaking on a deal. Shaking on a deal. They don't do other kinyan, they shake. So now you know what it is. It's a shvua chamura, the chsam sayyidu said. Not Samish rule. And the Karen Rabbeinu Gershon, nobody even knows there's a Karen Rabbeinu Gershon on that. And if you want to see a lot of interesting ones, look at the end of Hilfus Nidhi, the Karen, and the Baragayla, and you'll see. And we only scratch the surface, believe it or not. I only got to Allah one, and there's about 49. But that come up a lot. So uh, maybe next week if... Uh, if uh, the Rosh Kailu or if Shamber, if they, he, he, uh, he allows me, so we'll learn more because it's Nagaya Kal Nidre, and this is not something you usually uh, learn and hear Shiurman, and it's absolutely fascinating. So I want to wish everybody, and I hope they wish me back the same. Alashana Taiva Tika Sevu, Visecha Semu, Be La Alta, La Chaim, Toyin, and Shalom, Visifran Shat Sadikim, Gemurim, Ahat Slocha, Ashana, Muvereches, Mesuke, Mitat Slocha, and Brocha, and Nachas from Alla Kinder, and we should be Zoycha, that our Tula should be Niskabo, and this year should be a year where we say to the Gulish Lema Bimharadi Amen.